Today, we have a special treat for you, a dive back into the world of Twilight with none other than the director herself, Catherine Hardwick. Stick around as we explore some surprising revelations about the casting process and discover who she envisions as the perfect Bella and Edward in 2023. Catherine, it's fantastic to have you back on Watch Alone. Twilight holds a special place in many hearts, and we can't wait to hear more about your experiences. Catherine Hardwick Thanks, Josh. It's great to be here. So, let's jump right in. The casting of Robert Pattinson as Edward was a pivotal moment for the franchise, but you've mentioned there was some initial pushback from the studio. Can you share more about that? Absolutely. The studio had their reservations about Rob initially, but I fought for him because I saw something special in him. Now, looking back, it's clear that he was the perfect choice. Fast forward to today, if Twilight were to be made in 2023, you've recently shared your picks for a modern Bella and Edward. Can you tell us who you have in mind? Oh, that would be perfect. I've been thinking a lot about this. For Bella, I would go with Jenna Ortega, and for Edward, Jacob Elordi. Interesting choices. Jenna Ortega, known for her roles in horror films like Scream, 2022, and the upcoming Scream 6, has a certain supernatural vibe. And Jacob Elordi, the heartthrob from The Kissing Booth and Euphoria, brings that brooding quality. How did you arrive at these choices? Well, both Jenna and Jacob have proven themselves in various roles, showcasing their talent and versatility. Jenna's work in Wednesday, with her stoic and fiercely loyal character, resonated with me as a modern take on Bella. Jacob's darker roles and brooding characters make him an intriguing choice for Edward. It's fascinating to think how their performances would differ from Kristen Stewart and Robert Pattinson's iconic portrayals. How do you envision this fresh take on the beloved characters impacting the story? Kristen and Robert brought something magical to Bella and Edward. Jenna and Jacob would undoubtedly bring their own unique energy to the roles, offering a fresh perspective on the characters and the story. It would be a different, yet equally compelling, interpretation. Now, with the upcoming Twilight television remake in the works, there's a high chance of recasting Bella and Edward. Do you think Jenna and Jacob could be part of this new adaptation? As much as I'd love to see them in those roles, it's unlikely. The industry is filled with talented young actors, and the remake will likely bring new faces into the spotlight. But, who knows? Anything is possible. The legacy of Kristen Stewart and Robert Pattinson's performances is undeniable. With the success of the 2008 Twilight film, they paved the way for future franchise projects. How do you think their influence will shape the upcoming remake? Kristen and Robert set a high standard with their performances, creating a cultural phenomenon. The upcoming actors will have big shoes to fill, but I believe there's a wealth of young talent ready to take on the challenge. Stewart, Pattinson, and I are excited to see what the future holds for the Twilight universe. Well, that's a wrap for today's Watch Alone. A huge thank you to Catherine Hardwick for sharing her insights into the world of Twilight and her picks for a modern Bella and Edward. What do you think of Jenna Ortega and Jacob Elordi as the new faces of Twilight? Let us know in the comments below, and definitely share this video with your fellow Twilight enthusiasts.